Cancer. My name is Crystal. I'm doing a reading for you guys. I'm not sure what I'm doing it with or for, but we'll find out. You know, stay in focus, keeping your eye on your goals, keeping your eyes on the prize, doing what you got to do, not backing down. It says hold the course. So maybe if you're feeling like, um, don't let things take your mind off whatever you're trying to do. And if you feel like things are not working out for you and you're kind of like giving up hope, no, stay focused. You have gates of triumph, success expands in your life, okay? Taking shelter, the answers are within. So I feel like as long as you stay focused, this success is coming in. But if you let something take your mind off of it and you give up on your dreams and your hopes or whatever that you're trying to work on, then it's not going to come, you know. Obviously, if you give up, it's you give up. So do not give up because success is coming. And then you have stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. So like you are like stepping into power. Things are gaining momentum. Things are going to get a little bit more, you know, easier for you. Cancer, you came out in your own reading. Deeply intuitive, sensitive feelings, warm heart, familiars. You are being protected by pets and animals, okay? So if you're feeling like you're stuck and shit isn't working out for you or situations are a little tough for you or if you're feeling nervous or, you know, like and not in a safe place or whatever type of situation that is, it's like, don't worry. You even have animals that are protecting you among, you know, the angels and your ancestors and the universe and all everything else that watches out for you. All right. So this is just you coming out in your reading. Um, messages, good news is coming in. So stay positive. So whatever you're working for, whatever you're um, pushing for, is, I don't know if you're trying to look for a new job, moving to a new place, um, whatever situation that you are waiting on some type of news, it's like, don't worry. Even if you're not waiting on news, good news is coming in. Okay. And I feel like the news that you're waiting for is for whatever that you're working on. All right. Whatever that you're focusing on. So it's like, you know, the good, you know, it's going to be worth it. Five of um, Pentacles, you're feeling a little um, financial instability right now. Just feeling left out in the cold. Not feeling like you have anybody. But the, also the Five of Cards, is, Five of <laughs> Pentacles is just a card of like knowing when, you know, to ask for help. Like even if you're struggling emotionally, physically, mentally, financially, whatever the problem is that you're struggling with, it's like it's okay to ask for help. There's a church right behind them, you know what I mean? So they can go into church and ask for help. The church would help them. It's just you're not asking. Then you have the tower. So things are kind of like blowing up for you, kind of changing, lots of change, massive change with the tower card. Um, and it's because you need to start seeing clear. This is going to help you notice what you want and what you don't want anymore in your life. This way you can also cut off the people who no longer fit in your life, who no longer are on your level. King of Cups, you're looking for people who are honest. You want people who are honest. This is also you coming back out in your reading again. Uh, maybe you're getting your power back, okay? Because I feel like the Cancer and then Cancer again. It's like you're getting your power back, okay? <clears throat> After all the struggles, too. It's like, you know, and if you don't see it now, you will soon. You have Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. I think you are taking a thought and you're charging towards this thought of whatever this is that you're thinking about it's like this is what you're going for now so you may have changed your mind in some type of direction in career you changed your mind in whatever in love i feel like or whatever it is it's like you know you had a new idea maybe not change your mind you had a new idea and you're going with that okay and maybe this tower helps spark that new idea eight of cups you're walking away emotionally from something or someone that isn't really helping you out anymore and it's kind of like leaving everything that you've ever had like because he has all his cups right and that's all his but he's walking away from me he ain't even trying to take nothing it's like you know what the situation's done i'm trying to start something there so something did end and that you're walking away from something what are they walking away from ace of cups from a love from a love from fighting from a marriage Holding on to things that are no longer serving you. You're being divinely guided to walk away from something that is no longer serving you. Whether that's negativity. Whether that's family. Friends. Um, situations. Jobs. Overworking. Overstressing. Stuff like that. It's like you're being divinely guided to let go. Alright. Of whatever it is that isn't serving you anymore. And only you know what that is. Four of Wands tells me this is um, 
something that you were committed to, something that you were um, really invested a lot of time, energy, and love into. Um, but you're walking away from this, like, thing. You're walking away from the Ace of Cups. So, so what are you walking away from, the Ace of Cups? Like, I don't know. Walking away from your dreams? Are you le losing hope on your dreams? Because this also says staying focused, you know, success expands. You're stepping into your power. Do not give up, all right? Do not give up. I feel like you are holding on to something that isn't serving you. But by holding on to something that isn't serving serving you, maybe that's putting you in such a depression mode that you are kind of walking away from your dreams and everything that you ever wanted. Because <clears throat> I feel like holding on to this, whatever this is, is like stopping you from being able to do what you want to do in your life the king of wands make bold moves be brave be strong stand in your ground stand your power you are strong enough okay it's like find that spark find that fiery passion inside of you and you know stop you know letting people feel like they're winning over you stop allowing people to win over you you know i feel like people are always trying to like fight against you argue with you drag you down make you feel like you're nothing it's like Ignore all of them and focus on you. Focus on you and do what you got to do. Listen to your intuition. If you need help, go to a counselor. Go to some type of person that will help you. A teacher, guide, something like that. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you do kind of have some type of sadness here. Some type of depression or some type of worries or whatever it is I feel like you need to communicate with. Or need some type of help or guidance with this type of situation that you're going through. Um... Two of Swords, having to make a decision that you know you have to make a decision on, but you don't want to, right? You have to put your guards up around this person, situation, or whatever it is, because you feel like it keeps them trying to get in and take what you created, right? Or you're feeling like it's just a lot of unexpected stuff keeps on popping up for you. You have the Queen of Pentacles. This is taking care of yourself. The universe wants you to take care of yourself and worry about you. Worried about your finances, worry about your money, your career, yourself. All right. This is also a card about growth and like not just from like money. It's talking about like growth from the inside, maturing and yeah, Ace of Wands. You do have a new start. Okay. You don't even know that's the bottom of the deck. It's unconscious or subconscious or whatever it is. It's like you don't even know that there's a new start coming for you. It's going to bring you happiness. It's a new start of passion, love, stuff that you really want. Then you have the Page of Cups. This is asking you to be more receptive. Listen more. Um, this is also talking about learning something. Okay, so I feel like uh, maybe you are going to go to somebody who's going to help you. Um, maybe you're going back to school. Okay, maybe you had a new um, idea of going back to school. But, like, don't give up on your dreams. Whatever those dreams are, you, you're all, you're going to get somewhere with it. Don't give up because you're stressing out over this, okay? Whatever, you're, you're not, you might be losing sleep over this situation. You might be, like, stressing so bad over whatever this is that you're not able to fully focus. And that's why I'm saying stay focused because with all that negativity, all the worries, and all that stress, it's like it's going to hinder you from being able to do the work that you need to do for you to be able to move forward in this whole entire process, right? For you to be able to have this new start. And if, stop, they want to sit here and act like it's funny. Hold on, because now I have to like, you know, sorry about that. I had to do mom stuff. Yell at the children because they want to act funny. Anyway, <clears throat> don't allow the stress and negativity to run your life and keep staying in your life and being like the, the top leader, okay? It's like, no. Let that negativity go and try to change it and change it to positivity because when you start thinking positive and doing more positive things, right, it's like um, more positive is able to come into our life. If we keep on thinking negative, that's what we're going to attract. And I feel like you guys are so upset, so emotional over some type of, I mean, cancers are already emotional, very sensitive. Oh my God, you got another card about focus. It says focus. So that's what I'm going to put as the freaking thing. Focus. Do not give up on your dreams, okay? Focus, focus, focus. Do not allow all this stuff that's going on around you to stop you from doing what you want to do, okay? Because that's going to bring you fulfillment, all right? If you keep focused, success expands in your life. You're strong beyond me measure. You're stepping into your power. Fulfillment. Just stay strong. Just stay strong. Keep on fighting. Do not give up. Even if it's rigid. Even if things may feel like it's hard and it's really like, you know, you feel like you're climbing up a mountain and you could never reach the top. It's like, you will get there, but you have to believe in it. Okay? You know what I mean? So that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this helps. Toodles.